Peace and love, you gods and goddesses. It's your one and only goddess here, Rebel Jones, and I'm living in the process of progress. You already know what time it is. It's time to digest into Thirsty Thursday, where I can come quench your thirst with something good for your soul. You already know we're about to have a beautiful guest go by the name of Oreo. That's right, all the way from BK Tompkins, Crown Heights Best Style, the artiste herself, community leader, and hairstylist artist she's just all over all over just doing it all and tonight she's going to be telling us more about how she's gotten there what's her process so stay tuned rebel jones And rosemary oil. It's your one and only goddess here, Rebel Jones, living in the process to progress. Hope you can digest. I'm here with Oreo, all the way from BK Tompkins. You already know what's up. Best Star Crown Heights, where you at? No, really though. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Um, tonight, I really just want to say that this beautiful aura of a woman stepped in and I've bumped into her years ago and we just kind of been in the same cipher for a while and so finally she is on the show to talk about what her process looks like as an artist and also as a leadership in our community, Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. So please do tell us, how did you get into leadership in Brownsville? Okay, um, so the way I got into leadership was I was going through a real like tough time. I was in the shelter and you know I got kicked out and I was just all over the place. I was just like not understanding life at the time and um, I came across uh, BCJC. Yes. And Browns a Community Justice Center, yeah. Yeah. And they helped me like get myself together and they made me feel like I deserve to be here or like, you know, anything that I'm going through, it's just, you know, an experience yes. and I'm going to get better at anything that I do or, you know, just life is going to get better. Yes. And um, they, they were just like a family to me and I just love them. Like, yes. Shout out to Iona from Three Black Cats and Browns of Brooklyn, New York. You and the rest of Three Black Cats, we've done so much. Shout out to all the BCJC mentors and mentees who yes. are progressing each and every day. That's what the, the process is all about here on my show. Um, for me, essentially, my show started off when openly I'm going to share this. It's not always easy to say this, but when I was uh, sexually assaulted, I was I felt like it was my fault. But when I walk in Brownsville, when people tell me Brownsville is dangerous, I have a whole different story. I think Brownsville is full of love and people who don't know how to talk about the assault that they've had, whether it was in the house or outside of the house. And because they don't know how to talk about it, there are so many different attributes to who we are, our characteristics that sometimes we dwell on way too much. For instance, a lot of people in our neighborhood are either drug addicts or substance abusers, such as alcoholics and so on. And they're hanging over their potential because we're kind of given this housing, but also we're so many other resources taken away from us because there's so, many, so much information that they have on us. Um, my main concern about leadership is how do you, be a, how do you become a leader? while in the midst or in the process of leading yourself? Or is that even a, a thing? Um, I feel like when you just focus on yourself, people just like admire that and then you become this type of leader. Like I feel like you could be a leader in any type of you know thing or field. Um, and me, I just, I always, because I went through so much, from young and my mom, she had like a hard life, a hard past, mm -hmm. so it kind of fell on her children. Mm -hmm. And like, um, being that I was the oldest, I'm the oldest on both sides, mm -hmm. mom and dad, so it's like, anything I did, it was just, and if it was positive or motivational or whatever someone got from it, like, it was just like, it inspired them and then I became this leader, right. you know? But I always did things from, you know, the heart and my mind, like God told me to do. Yes. Um, do it, and I just did it. Like, I just woke up with the thought one day to, um, 
do a task, you know. I was on a mission and I completed the mission, so I'm proud yes. of myself. Yes, talk about that mission though. Um, how did you stumble across the mission? And were there any bumps along the way? And if so, how did you get through it? Okay, it was not easy, like, <laughs> I had a lot of breakdowns, a lot of people that gave up on me. Um, at the time, I was living in 40, on 42nd Street at the Covington House. Okay. Um, I was a little younger then. And um, there was times I remember where I would just stop on the side of the street and like just cry it out. Mm -hmm. But then when I cry, it gives me more energy. It gives me more like, you know, power to continue. Yeah, it's a cleansing when you cry. Yeah, I like crying for some reason. But yeah, I mean, it's not for attention or anything, mm -hmm. but it's just like, I just feel like it needs to let be released. Yes. Like any anybody, like everybody, yes. needs to release their pain and through crying, singing, whatever. Like I mean, not the don't abuse it. Right. But well, don't abuse yourself. Yeah. Don't this abuse yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I got through it because of other people too. Yeah. Like other young people just like me. Yeah. They're like, why is the world like this? You know, they're, we're like clueless, but we're just gonna be the best that we can be and try day by day, step by step. Yeah. And those are the people that I like to hang around. I think it's difficult to find identity if you're not traveling. I only went to London, like I was in Europe once, I went to Dublin, Ireland last, last summer, or summer before last. And that's when I realized like, oh my gosh, I would have probably stayed in, New York and travel the states because going out of the country just seems so foreign, like, you know, no point intended. And I think it's because when we're surrounded by our abusers and surrounded by the pain and the suffering, yeah. we think the only way out of that is to somehow find someone that is in it or out of it, and yet you can't really take that emotion out of the person, so we look for relations, right. like similarity. Like, yeah, I might leave France and move to Crown Heights, but I'm still like sad and looking out the window and trying to figure out how do I get a house or why are there people younger than me or my age that are completely successful off of lying rather than telling the truth or who are telling the truth but still get all the spotlight for like something as simple as what they do behind closed doors. It was just, it just seemed unfair and unrighteous and unjust. It goes deep. It goes so deep. It goes so deep. Earlier we were uh, talking amongst each other about relations and how therapy is art um, and art is therapy and it's the way that you do things that makes it so significant so I want to know for you as an artist whether it's doing with hair makeup or even just being able to speak your word of truth how do you get the power to do that if you're breaking down because I feel like I give myself therapy mm. like I challenge myself and um, like, I just feel like it's life. You're like, no one's exempt from what happens, good or bad. No one, no one. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I just use that to feel me. Like I use the pain. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I need to go through things. Oh my gosh, I feel the same, I felt like it hurts, way. but I feel like I need to go through it because it wouldn't push me to do the things that I'm doing now. Like, if I didn't go through what I went through or, you know, learn certain things from the other day, I wouldn't be here, you know, because that drove me to come here mm -hmm. and do this. So, yeah. everything's for a reason, you know? Yeah. And my, um, my fiance, I said the same thing to him and he said to me, well, you gotta get out of that. Like, that's, that's a mine of poverty. You're not poor. You're rich, yeah. and with all that creativity, you gotta have direction, sure. But like, you also gotta remember that pain don't pushes every, don't push everything. Yeah. It takes love to push out a baby. It takes that kind of like mental power to know that it's already done. Like this baby formed itself and it's ready to come out because that's just what it is. And you, your push doesn't have to be painful. Like I've learned in the matter of being a mother that it's supposed to be an orgasm when you get when you have a baby. But a lot of women don't nurture themselves because everything comes about someone else. 
and it's important to take care of yourself. Self-love is not what it looked like, it's what it is. And I've been in a shelter before I could relate. I've been in a shelter with my mother and my sister. And I remember going to school and being musty but having products on my feet because that was the mentality of my mother. And I remember like feeling uncomfortable about it. And then I got through stages of like us finally getting an apartment, finally getting my own room. And like I had to sleep on an air bed on top of a frame before I got a mattress. And like it's, it's if I may say it's shit like that, that gets me tight because our parents are taught to have things that are lavish, that are fabulous, which is fake. And they do not talk about the, the basics of what we need. And I think it's important that wherever you are, wherever you live, the slums are not the slums. Material things can be created. Material things do not necessarily need to be something you purchase or for somebody else. Like our African-American markets, whether it's in music or products, it's a beauty how we can come together and do that. But guess what? When we multiply that knowledge, we have much more resources. Honestly, I just feel like I was born rich. Right! Um, Ooh! <laughs> never needed yeah. money to be rich. Mother bar mother nature bars, you know. Make sure you go at them. Right. I'm a rich nigga. You rich? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rich nigga at, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yo, and more into the music, tell me, what recent project have you worked on with yourself, because it's therapy for you, mm -hmm. that you really feel like, oh, people need to hear this because they're going to get the healing they need from it? Drop mm -hmm. a bar, drop a bar. Um, uh, this is all that I need. What's too real hard to breathe? I live that life you can see. Not going back history. Put, 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 put patience. My humbleness is the key. I will be taking it further. Gotta be vicious and mean. See me rolling. I got this on the way to the scene. Oreo out the hood. Oreo getting green. Gotta go hard for kill to make you hear me for real. Yeah. See me up. I'm on sight. Laying low, moving right. You know that I'ma go get it. You know that I'ma go get it. You don't like me. I don't give a fuck when it comes to my cheddar. Too dope. You know that I'm bowling if you rap, then I'm snoring videos and I'm touring. Get the guap till she's scoring too late. I'm high in the morning. Nah, let me Ooh. stop. Let me stop. <laughs> I, do, I do have a question that I want to ask you. As I'm so glad I don't have this chance to sit with you and ask you this, right? Because it's a question I want to ask many rappers, not female rappers, just rappers in general. How can you, how, where do you get the power to talk about the things you don't have yet? Oh, I just talk it into existence. I already see my future. Like, it's my game. Like, I run this, you know? Oof. <laughs> so, I'm glad to be a piece on your board, though. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> we moving. It's about, like, I let the world know who I am. I find out who I am. I let you guys know who I am. Yeah. And that's what it is. Like, I control what you see, what's going on. And oh. I'm, I'm glad that I'm in a power to do that as an independent artist, you know? Yeah. It's different. Um, with, you know, signed artists and, you know, I could just be me. I don't want to be fake, yeah. you know, I want to be Ori. Yeah. It's a machine behind all of the different, all of the different artists that we, that we listen to, that we see in music videos. Um, one of the people that I love the most is myself as an artist because I don't want to wait for BET or VH1 to come and say, we like what you want to talk about. We want to add something to it, but we like what you want to talk about. We want to put that platform. Now, I'm going to create the motherfucking platform. You know what I mean, I'm going to be the one to do that and bring artists that I love, that I adore, that I can relate to, but yeah. also that I can't relate to. People that I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. How did, how to, how to loving feathers did you get from being in a shelter to be sitting here right now and looking as gorgeous as you do, being as humble and open as you are? Because a lot of our sisters in the hood, and you know, are completely blocked. Everything that you say to them comes, if you smile too much, it's fake. If you grilling them, then you wanna fight. If you hug them, then they gonna turn on you or talk about you, you let them in, then they kinda like run you down. But not everyone is like that. Not everyone is like that, but you can come across that more than you do women like yourself. And that, that kind of leadership, that kind of initiative, it's necessary. And it's just like, if you could be stronger than your situation and think outside of your situation and not let that situation define who you are, you know, then, I mean, that just determines the type of person you are. Yeah. Everyone's not strong, you know? Mm -hmm. People, some people are strong in different fields. Yeah. And, you know, we're weak in some fields, but, I mean. It's I'm, a me, it's yeah. a me. I, I, I used to train 
MAP training and foster care, and we talk about strengths and needs because there's, there's no weakness. Every human being has a need, not a weakness. And because we, we have needs, we need intervention to meet the need and feel relaxed and satisfied so you can move on to the next need. And a lot of people pay attention to behavior. Oh, she's acting funny. Why? What's the reason? There's a feeling, there's an action. What's the reason? And so that's important to always make sure that no matter who it is that you're communicating with, that you know what their need is. Because a person could easily put a mask on and come off as though this is, this is important or this is more important than that or, you know, no, I'm really here to do this, but they have an alter, uh, ulterior motive. Yeah, everybody has that. Right, but if you could be transparent, just say, this is what I'm here for and this is what it is. And get, it, get to it and get done. And it's necessary to do that. Yo, can we get some more bars? Because <laughs> I'm jamming. Um, where were you at? Hey, on SoundCloud? No, I'm good. Um, I mean, I could give you some notes. Give us, please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. I be focused on the mission. I'm from Brooklyn, so white pop. Who you booking with? Got wicked fingers. Design the brace for your top. I ain't got no patience. Steady grinding for my spot. Please do not waste my time for all that chit chat that you got. Pay me for your pleasure. I got power in my hands. You cannot come around if you not splurging with no bands. I ain't wasting breath. No, you be wilding out, you trippy hoe. Millions on my mind, so pop your pussy for a real G.O. And on that note, we're gonna take a break and go to commercial. No. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yo, listen, I enjoy you. I wanna talk Thank more you. with you, but I really wanna build with you. So yes. right now we don't got time to talk. We gotta get to the paper and start building on some projects. You'll see us coming very soon to a handheld device near you. <laughs> it's yes. your one and only goddess, Rebel Jones, living in the process to progress where I digest prosperity, not poverty. You already know what's good. Oreo. Oh. Don't give up. Ha, you Get ready. back up. Get egg. <laughs> Peace. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Oreo in the building from Brooklyn, New York, Tompkins, East New York, all over. You know, Brooklyn, we go hard all day, every day. I'm a trendsetter, artist, professional hairstylist. I do it all. There's nothing I don't do. Feel me? I'm writing in the studio. I'm in the salons. You know they hate me and they love me at the same time, but I'm I'm finna get this money. Ain't nobody stopping my grind, you feel me? And that's how we gotta get it. 2019, we out here all day. Summer is hot, we about to get it crazy. I'm just about to do it. Give it my all, you feel me? You can find me on Instagram at I'm Oreo and my other my other page is O-R-I-E underscore Y-O. Oreo, that's my hit page. Add me, search me on YouTube at Unsigned All Star Cypher. Um, and that's all, and I'm just working, living in the process. You feel me? That's it.